We've all seen GIFs online by now, small, low-quality videos that also play in a loop. But did you know that starting in Pinnacle 23, you can now make GIFs yourself to send to your friends and family, or even to people you don't like? GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format, which is why GIF is pronounced the way it is. But even if you call them GIFs, they're still great for social media and email campaigns. You make GIFs in exactly the same way on your timeline. And as most GIFs are only a few seconds long, it's really quick to do. I've got the three GIFs I made for the intro to this video on my timeline. Just a short piece of video with some text animated to appear over the top in each one. I'll set in and out markers on the first GIF so I can show you the export settings. Just select extension from the drop down here. Then GIF from the next drop down menu. Then select one of the preset options. At GIF Original, I would be exporting at the original size of the clip, which you can see here is 4K footage. 99% of the time, this is going to be far bigger than a GIF needs to be. The usual idea of a GIF is for it to be as small a file size as you can make it, so that it's super easy to share, load on people's phones or computers, and image quality is not nearly as important as the emotion or feeling that the GIF is there to communicate. But if your use case means you need to keep the GIF at 4K, maybe you want to project the GIF onto a screen for a corporate logo at an event, go ahead, just keep aware of the estimated file size. 240 megabytes is a pretty big file for someone to load on their phone. So next, I've got GIF 320 pixels and GIF 640 pixel profiles. I think 640 is a good compromise between quality and file size, and if I select it, you can see the size has changed to 640 by 360 pixels. Then we could just press start and our GIF would be ready to share. There are more options though. If we go to custom and then make sure GIF is selected in image format, we have some more options for resolution size. And we can also control the frames per second. Feel free to bump this down as low as 10 FPS. It's a great way of saving on file size for a GIF. As is image quality, which averages the color range to fewer and fewer colors the lower the quality setting is. You can also choose whether this GIF will loop or just play once and then stop. And that's it. Super easy to create GIFs, control their final file size, and get them shared on your socials. Happy editing! Thank <laughs> you.